Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Roseanne Teus. Students across Chicago walked out of class today to protest gun violence. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli has the story. The National School walkout is mostly focused on high schools, but universities and even grade schools are also taking part. One such grade school is South Loop Elementary here on Plymouth Court. That's where students began walking out just before 10 o'clock this morning. This school was recently affected by gun violence because Grace Bauer, the daughter of murdered police commander Paul Bauer, attends classes here. So today, more than 100 South Loop Elementary students marched to protest gun violence while honoring the murdered police leader. After 13 seconds of silence to mark the 13 lives lost at Columbine High School 19 years ago today, students spoke about the need for common sense gun reforms. Grace Bauer was the first to speak. When I heard about the Parkland shooting, my eyes glazed over the news. Why? Because the day before my father was shot downtown. The media moves on, tragedy after tragedy, but we will not. We refuse to forget the victims of gun violence close to our hearts. One of my friends died in the Florida shooting and I'm doing this to honor her because she was an amazing person and I wish I saw her one last time before she died. So I'm honoring in her memory. After the speeches, the students released orange balloons in honor of the victims of the Parkland, Florida shooting and also a single blue balloon for Commander Bauer. Many students wore orange. That's the color hunters wear to make sure they're seen in the woods. It's also the color adopted by the family of Hydea Pendleton five years ago. She, of course, is the Chicago student who was slain after she returned to her hometown after taking part in the Obama inaugural festivities in Washington, D.C. Back live now, you can see here in the park, we were just showing you some of the orange ribbons that they have here. Also, of course, the blue ribbons that they've wrapped around trees here in honor of Commander Bauer. A two-year-old boy has died after a horrible accident in West Inglewood. A woman and that child were holding hands when they were hit by a minivan. The whole thing was captured on camera. First, you see the woman and boy waiting at the corner to cross over Damon at 71st. They start to make their way, but then that red minivan makes a left turn and hits them head on. The little boy died at the hospital. The woman refused medical attention. Chicago police have not announced any charges against the driver. The woman, though, was seen undergoing a sobriety test with police after the accident. And finally now, Megan Glaros with a look at your forecast. Hey, everybody, we're looking at a forecast that actually looks like spring. It is April. It is spring. It's been spring for a while, about a month in fact, and now finally we're getting a forecast that looks like spring. We've got 58 degrees today, 57 tomorrow, 59 degrees on Sunday. We're into the 60s Monday, Tuesday, and we're dry all the way through Tuesday. A little bit of rain coming into the mix on Wednesday and Thursday of next week, but it's a beautiful forecast. We're going across the board with really good news for you guys. The only problem is across Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there will be a lake breeze. So if you're right near the lakefront, you can expect temps to feel about 10 degrees colder.